In a matter of life and death, tonight, two medics suspended after pronouncing 66-year-old Thomas Maxwell dead when he was still alive. Maxwell suffering a cardiac arrest when paramedics were called to the scene. His daughter, Phoebe, insisted he was still breathing, describing the encounter with first responders she felt was hasty, and they made the wrong call. He just squatted down by my dad, and I'm like, he's still alive. This was his arm. He went like this. Like, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am, he's gone. Phoebe told our affiliate WFLA the EMTs called the sheriff's department and left the home when the officer arrived. But minutes later, the Pinellas County deputy noticed a breath. And the sheriff came in and said, then we called other medics. And you're right, they found a slight pulse. In a statement to NBC News, the Clearwater Fire Chief said, quote, on behalf of the city, I apologize for the actions and the inactions of our crew during this incident. We have strict policies and procedures in place that were not followed according to our preliminary review. He says the two medics have been clinically suspended and can't provide any patient care while the comprehensive review proceeds. Incidents of this kind are rare, but they're not unheard of. It might happen, you know, once a year per se, once every other year. It doesn't happen commonly. But just weeks ago, an 82-year-old woman was pronounced dead at a nursing home in New York, only to be found alive later by funeral home staff. I cannot even imagine you, but... Awful. And just days before that, a 66-year-old woman in Iowa was declared dead by a nurse and also found alive later when funeral home staff says she was gasping for air when they unzipped the body bag. Um, just so you know, this female was transported there deceased and she is not Experts like emergency physician Dr. Raid Vukmir say every case is different and variables can change, but that they are always looking for signs of life. There are three components of neurologic response, heartbeat and cardiac activity. And then lastly, we look at sort of their respirations. Do, does the patient respond? Is their heart beating and are they breathing on their own? He also says he likes to take a short time out, wait a bit and do a second check to avoid what happened to Thomas Maxwell in Florida. The fire department telling us today he's receiving attention at a local hospital and still alive. Okay, Gua joins us now from Miami. Gua, we just heard you give us an update there uh, on that man who they thought was dead, clearly alive. Do we know anything more about him? Uh, Tom, his daughter told our affiliate WFLA that he is in intensive care and he's receiving help from his speech therapist because of slowed speech. Uh, she does worry that because of this incident, he may suffer from long-term effects. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.